exposed. Assalamu alaikum, this is your brother Muhammad Al Shad, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about exposing yourself. Okay, so this is a letter that came to my house today. It says exposed, right? Um, it wasn't even my letter, it's uh, for someone else, but very similar. I thought it was for me, so I opened it, right? Um, and it's from a charity called Human Appeal. Okay, so they did this. Uh, they did this letter, which is all about exposing the admin fee. So this is very clever. The reason why I share it with you is because there's a lot of uh, debate about charities, especially Muslim charities. You know, are they doing a good job? Um, you know, are they managing their finances in a correct way? And there's all this controversy around the way charities are managed, right? And so what they're doing is they're actually going head on. So I really liked this because it's going head on. Uh, and it's addressing the issue specifically and being very clear with the people that trust you with their money that this is exactly what we're doing with your money. Then secondly, they're using exposed, which is kind of like a negative term. So it's kind of peaking interest because as human beings, we're actually attracted to negative information more than positive. It's like a bias that we have. And that's why newspapers always sell us on negative stories. Same with news. You don't open the news every day and they just tell you wonderful things that happened all around the world. Because Alhamdulillah, there's so many wonderful things that happen, but they just don't report it because they know that you probably wouldn't even watch. You'd be just like, yeah, that's just everyday life. But when it comes to negative stuff, we are all there. And that's exactly why I thought this campaign was amazing. Because think about it. I don't know about you guys, but there's so many charity letters that come to your house, right? What do you do with them? Um, even the charities that I do give to, to be honest, I don't really read the letters much. Um, and you could just see that it's a normal letter, you leave it. But with something like this, you know, it's really good because it captures your attention. It's like forcing you to look at it. And it got me to open it, even to the point where I didn't even realize it's not my letter. Someone gave it to me thinking it was mine. I just opened it. And then once I opened it, I realized it wasn't mine, right? But like, I thought it was very clever because it's, it's kind of communicating with the audience in a very, very, uh, you know, direct way. Um, and we have to remember that the whole purpose of the envelope is just to get you to open it. And they've done a great job to get me to open it. So I want to recognize them. Um, and then this is a lesson that we should be applying to our email as well. You know, the objective of a email subject line is just to get your people to open it. Um, it's nothing else. That's the only reason. And then once they're in there, you want them to have the copy that actually resonates with them. So the next time you're drafting up an email, just think to yourself, what is one thing I could write in the headline that would make them open it? Now, of course, you don't want to do clickbaity stuff where it's not true at all. But all I'm saying is find creative ways to actually get your message out there. And it all starts with them looking at your subject and being interested in it, just like Human Appeal did with their exposed letter. So well done, guys. And inshallah, I'll catch you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa